Now and Ron, Sowell's former girlfriend, Mayor Frank Jackson's niece, had some surprising things to say today. Well, she sure did. Lori Frazier first met Anthony Sowell in July 2005. She quickly moved in with him, and he in turn supplied her with crack cocaine. But it's what she saw inside the house and living with Sowell that provided the most shocking testimony. Fighting back tears, Lori Frazier described the first clue that something was terribly wrong inside Sowell's home. Did you notice anything as far as the house? Was everything still in the No, it was holes in the wall, it was blood on stuff. Where? Where was On the, the third floor. Okay. When you said on stuff, what kind of stuff was the blood on? The floor, the wall. I don't know, I can't remember if it was on the bed. Was it a lot of blood? Um, somewhat, but I think he probably cleaned most of it up before I got there. She had already moved out after living with Solwell for less than a year, but she remembers how his personality dramatically changed from, quote, a nice guy to someone hooked on crack cocaine. Sometimes he goes into a rage. Yeah, sometimes he is. He, um, he's, yeah. All right. Describe for me, um, instances in which he was mad and went into a rage, what kind of things would he do or say? Um, he just get off the phone. Sometimes he just get in my face and scream out on my face like this. And like that. Did he ever threaten you? Yeah, one time he told me to throw me out the window. Well, of course, she thought so well was actually kidding her and he wasn't being serious, but in fact, she's lucky to be alive. Uh, I want to ask you a quick question. How did their relationship end? This is interesting. Apparently, Anthony Sowell became so hooked on crack cocaine, he wasn't initially, but he became so hooked on crack cocaine that his personality turned, according to Lori Frazier, mm -hmm. and she, meanwhile, was moving off the drug. He wound up throwing her out of the house, wouldn't let her back in, and she has since cleaned up, and he had nothing to do with her. Back to you. Ron Regan on the Sowell case. Ron, thank you.